Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, where I talk about anime that I love, and I'm going to talk today about R.O.D. the TV, mm -hmm. the oh, Read or Die yeah. TV yep. series. Yeah. Yep. Um, oh man, do I love this show. Um, uh, I first watched the OVA, um, and then checked out the TV series, which is a sequel to the OVA, chronologically. Um, and uh, this is about a group of... Um, Three girls who have power over paper. They can take a piece of paper and turn it into a piece of steel and throw it like a shuriken. Um, or they can make a shield out of it. Or they can make arrows out of it. They can do whatever they want with paper um, because of how much they uh, love books or otherwise have, uh, let's just say, history with books. Um, and so it's sort of a... Um, there's sort of a James... Bond aspect to it because they're sort of secret agents going around dealing with um, various things happening in the world and uh, um, crazy villains and, and such. Um, one of the interesting things is that um, they are I've called the Paper Sisters. Um, that's what they call themselves. That's all I'll say. Um, there's there's history behind all that going on. <laughs> Um, and it turns into this wonderfully big story. One of the great things about Read or Die is that it is this huge, um, the, the stories usually end up getting into these huge save the world kind of plots. Um, and you very much see that in, in this TV series. There's no surprise there. But by being 26 episodes, you really get to spend time with the characters, see what's going on with, with them, um, and have them kind of grow and evolve over time. Uh, and that's another thing that, that Read or Die does in a way that is maybe not unique in anime, but definitely very unusual. Um, the Read or Die franchise changes quite a bit in every work that is produced. Um, they are not afraid to kind of push things forward in surprising ways in each Read or Die work. Uh, what's also amazing about it is that every Read or Die story is self-contained, but also contains references to other read or die stories. So they will mention characters and something that happened to a character and you'll go, they're still alive? Uh-huh. Um, and if you don't know what that is, it's just a character and they're, they're doing a thing and that's totally fine. But if you've seen something else or read something else, it will, you know, have an impact on you. Great about that. Um, um, and you also get um, all these characters. So, you you know, the characters do evolve over the course of the this, this show. They, they do deal with some of their issues over the course of the show. Um, in addition to having um, all this, this great action um, all the way through the, uh, 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 the story. And a lot of comedy um, as well. It's, 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 it's a really fun show. It's a really a uh, show that understands how to just you know, kind of enjoy its concept uh, and play around with things. Um, as the characters kind of, again, sort of dealing with what's going on in their lives. Um, you also have two characters, um, just, just really, really fun characters, um, um, and it's the kind of writing where, I'll put it this way, um, the three paper sisters are, uh, let's see if we can see all three of them at once here, probably not, um, nope, because there's the end of the episode, um, the three paper sisters, uh, their names are, uh, we'll get some of them, um, yeah, they're, they're, Things happen in the show. Um, uh, their names are, um, uh, let's see here, um, Maggie, Michelle, and Anita. Maggie, Michelle, and Anita. And if you've seen a lot of Hong Kong action films, you'll recognize those names. Mixed martial arts. Maggie Chung, Maggie Michelle Yeo, Yo. and Anita. Uh, uh, Annie. Uh, uh, Anita, Yui, 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 yeah, 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 mur mur uh, murdering that name. So they're all, you know, references to these famous martial arts, uh, uh, female martial artists in, in Hong Kong cinema. So it's a lot of fun. Th those little things. Again, and not a spoiler to say, like, it's not like their names in the show are inspired by that. There's just that's a cool little call, uh, uh, callback in there. So um, again, a lot of story, a lot of things going on, and a lot of payoff on things introduced later in the show, that kind of get in, that, uh, dealt with later in the show, and again, bits of other read or die stories. But if you haven't seen it, 
totally doesn't work. You can always go back to that and go, oh, that person. That's a cool little thing that they kind of tied everything in there. 26 episodes, uh, really, really fun show.